Hi everyone, today we are going to build a ChatGPT clone with Vite and React in this quick tutorial. We will learn how to integrate the OpenAI in PIM package for GPT 3.5, bringing powerful conversational AI to your project. This will be a perfect tutorial for React enthusiasts. So let's code a smart chatbot together. So let us start with an empty project and let's open the terminal. And now to create a Vt app, let's write Vt install in the Chrome and let's go to this link. Just copy this command and paste it here. Okay and the project name let's say i am giving it dot because i want everything inside this folder and framework should be react javascript yeah everything is there and now the last thing is to install the npm package node modules so it is installing okay yeah, it is installed. Now let's run our server. npm run dev. And yeah, it started on 5173. Let's go to the port. Yeah. So our app is running perfectly. Now let's do some cleanups. Let's remove all of the codes from app.css. We don't need this. App.jsx, let's remove this and create a new component. Yeah. And okay, let's see. Yeah. Let's go to index.css. Let's remove everything from here also. yeah so it has become a fresh app now this is the main.jsx yeah everything looks fine and i have added some images here not all of the images are going to be used by me but uh, you can use if you want those images are in the github repo so let's start creating our app now Okay, now uh, let's uh, remove this and add some classes. Uh, we are going to use Tailwind CSS. So, before adding the classes, let's install Tailwind CSS. Tailwind CSS on wheat. Okay, let's copy this and let's stop the server and uh, let's paste it here after that let's paste copy and paste this second line okay yeah config file is there now let's copy this and paste it here yeah after that, let's copy this and paste it to index.css. Okay, now I think we are good to go. Close the terminal and open a new terminal and let's run the server. npm run dev. Yeah, I just started. And let's see, nothing is there because we haven't added anything in app.jsx so let's remove these things let's go to app.jsx and let's write hello world hello world and add some styling text uh, 6xl maybe let's see yeah it is working now let's start creating our project 
let the terminal be there and okay now let's add class and width should be full height should be screen flex should be there because sidebar and the main uh, div should be there that is why display spec flex now let's add another div that is for the sidebar and let's add another div for the main section that is the chat section so let's add main here we haven't created this component yet and let's add sidebar here uh, we are going to create these components but before that uh, let's add classes here it should be hidden for small screens and for medium screens it should be block and medium for medium screens uh, which should be 20 percent and for main uh, component the class should be width should be full for small screens and for medium screens width should be 80 percent yeah 80 percent now uh, let us create these components let's create a component folder in source directory and inside this let's create sidebar.jsx and main.jsx yeah now let's create these components we don't need this line let's create this also now let's import these components it is imported yeah now let's see yeah sidebar and main uh, component is there now let's uh, design the sidebar component let's remove this and add class name background should be black flex flex call items should be start and uh, padding should be 4 that is 16 pixels height should be screen and let's add a div here that is for the top section let's add class name it should be flex and uh, items should be center and width should be full it will take the sidebar width full width padding should be one that is four pixels and uh, what can i add there uh, let's add it rounded large and on hover background should be changed so background should be uh, hash two zero two one two three yeah now inside this div uh, image div should be there and uh, new chat heading should be there so for that for that uh, let's add div here and inside this div the chat gpt image logo should be there so let's write the class for this div it should be cursor pointer and it should be flex item center and space x2 and inside this div the image should be there uh, sorry uh, the 
image div should be inside this div not the outer div so um, let's add alt tag here that is logo and source should be let's go to public folder and slash it should be i think yeah asset 12 and let's add class name to this div that is background should be uh, e c e c f1 yeah and it should be rounded full and height should be uh, adding one and height should be eight and with eight and after this div let's add a h2 here and new chat should be there let's add classes text should be ece c f1 and font should be semi bold and uh, yeah that's it i guess so this top div is done let's see how it looks okay before that let's add another div here that is the bottom div okay not the bottom div actually let's see Okay, the font is not visible text is not visible so for that I think uh, uh, yeah I have added a uh, extra C there so let's remove this now it should be visible yeah it should it is visible now after that uh, let's add this class to this div flex flex call justify between and height should be full width should be full also and inside this div the recent chats should be there and on the bottom there should be the logo and subscription bar so inside this div let's add a p tag here that is today this is today's chats so class name text should be uh, 666 yeah and after that text should be small and margin top should be 12 that is 48 pixels and after that there should be another div and inside this div let's add the class name first text should be ecec f1 and after that okay uh, hash let's add hash here and after that text should be small and space should be y4 and margin top should be 4 with full okay and inside this div there should be some questions that is the recent questions and let's I have to map through the questions so for that let's add the question data first let's create another uh, file here data.js inside source and let's uh, paste these questions you will get this question in my github directory or github repository questions dot map U and index okay inside this let's add div 
close it and inside this queue should be there and let's add key here it should be index and let's add some classes that should be adding one and with full and it should be rounded large i think yeah large and cursor should be pointer and on hover we are going to change the background a little bit background should be 202123 yeah okay everything looks fine let's see how it looks yeah it looks nice now we have to create the bottom div inside this bottom div uh, account section and the subscription bar should be there so let's create another div yeah below this div let's add class name flex flex call face y4 and inside this div two div should be there let's add the bottom div and inside the top div the class name should be flex item center and face x2 cursor should be pointer and inside this another div should be there let's add class name background same background ECEC -E F1 and uh, let's add uh, rounded full and height should be adding one and height should be a eight and which should be eight inside this div image should be there image class name okay not class name source should be there and all tag source should be before that let's add the alt tag yeah and source should be inside public folder it should be asset 7.sbg yeah and after this div we have to add another div let's add class name it should be text mm, text should be ec ec f1 and let's add p tag and let's write upgrade before that let's add class name font bold text small and let's copy this get gpt4 and gpt4 and daily and more yeah and bold should not be there okay so this div is done now uh, inside this div the account tab should be there so flex items should be center and space between x axis should be 2 cursor should be pointed yeah let's add image source and alt all should be account and let's add the source it 
it should be asset zero yeah and let's add p tag and the class should be text same it should be ec ec f1 and let's add our channel name that is full stack snayashish okay looks fine let's see okay we have to reduce the image and make it rounded reduce the image size so for that let's add class name to the image class name it should be with 8 and height 8 and it should be rounded full so that it will become rounded yeah so our sidebar is done for now and it looks good yeah it looks good so we are done with our sidebar let's uh, actually add some comments here so that it will be easy to know which section belongs to which code it should be top bar and this is recent chats uh, actually yeah recent chats and upgrade uh, okay this is the whole lift so upgrade should be below this line and account account okay so we are done with our sidebar now let's move towards the main section now let's move ahead to the main section div okay let's add class name background should be 343 541 yeah and height should be screen flex flex call justify between and inside this div let's add another div and inside this div let's add the title inside h1 that is cat gpt clone cat gpt 3.5 clone let's add some classes to this title or heading you can say font bold text excel text white and padding should be 4 that is 16 pixels and uh, after that the chat div should be there so for that let's add a div and inside this another div should be there and class name it should be flex item center item start and space x should be 4 margin y6 padding 2 
and image source and alt tag actually this is the message so it should let's write user and for source let's import the image from let's add the path actually from public folder let's add class height should be 8 with 8 and rounded rounded full and another div should be there that is the message con content class name flex flex call items start let's write uh, p tag class name x should be ECECF1 okay and font should be bold and after that the message should be there so inside p tag let's add class text color should be same and let's copy some lord m ipsum to add here lord m ipsum generator okay just copy this copy this and paste it here okay and uh, so the whole message of the user is done yeah now we have to uh, add some classes to the messages div so uh, this is the messages div and this is a uh, individual message from the user so after that there should be the input section let's add a div and inside this div let's add another div two divs should be there that is one for suggestions and another for input so let's create the input div first let's add class name with full for small screens and flex justify center items center and flex call and for medium screens padding 0 and for small screens padding should be 4 let's take it here yeah and inside it the input field and button should be there and that should be inside a div and after that a paragraph should be there that is uh, what should I write? Chat GPT clone can make mistakes. Consider checking important information. okay 
and after that let's add class to this para text should be extra small text white and padding 2 and text center okay and after that let's add class to this div also which should be maybe uh what should i write 65 percent and which should be full for small screens uh 65 percent should be for medium screens let's take it here and after that height 55 pixels border border gray 600 maybe yeah 600 and flex items center okay and rounded large maybe large corners yeah and padding of two okay and inside this div let's add the input input and after that button should be there and inside this button image should be there and let's add class name to this button background gray height full padding 2 and rounded should be large and for image the source should be a uh, source should be there and alt alt should be button image and the source should be dot dot slash dot, dot slash inside public folder it should be asset 10 dot svg and let's add some attributes to the Im input tag also class name it should be and type type should be text placeholder and uh, for the placeholder let's write a message message chat gpt clone and for the class name let's write text white height should be full and with full padding 2 outline should be none and background should be inherit okay looks like uh, yeah it is done looking good uh, we have to add some uh, with okay before that let's create the suggestions So let's add class name margin y 8 for medium screens padding 0 and padding 4 for small screens margin x auto with full For medium screens which should be uh, 65 percent same as input and grid grid uh, and gap should is 2 grid calls to items 
uh, okay let's leave it like that and inside this uh, let's map through the suggestions that is inside data file suggestions and index let's add div here that is the individual suggestion div and e should be index let's add class name that is cursor pointer and flex flex call items start padding to rounded large and border should be there also so border then border gray 600 yeah i guess that's it and inside this div let's add para tag that is s dot title and below that it should be s dot description let's add class names text small font is bold and text color should be hash and uh, 585757 okay and for the title let's add class name text should be small text uh, color should be it should be uh, c5 c5 d2 let's see okay yeah it looks fine now we have to add some with fixing to the upper div so for that let's add classes here class name height 75 bh for medium screens height is 70 bh and after that width should be full for medium screens width should be 70 percent and for medium screens padding 0 and for small screens padding 4 it should be flex flex call and yeah that's it i guess let's add some messages okay let's see uh, it is not centered so let's add mix auto i guess mm, yeah add okay let's remove this and uh, yeah sorry uh, it should be there and flex mx should be auto and yeah ah, i have to add the flex call thing i don't know why i removed that yeah now it's fine okay but uh, it is overflowing so that should not be the case let's uh, reduce the height a little bit
let's make it 60 and let's see okay now it's fixed yeah and let's see for small screens yeah i think it is overflowing yeah we have to change the height here also let's make it uh, 60 65 let's see uh it's not looking good i have to reduce it uh, before that uh, let's right here overflow y it should be scroll now let's see how it looks yeah it's better now still it's overflowing though uh, i have to reduce the height let's move this and see uh, mm, height should be 50 let's say 50. yeah 50 looks good now it's looking better let's add the css to scroll bar for that let's write main dot main dot css and inside let's write web kit like this let's write it scroll bar and with is 8 pixels and double colon web kit scroll bar thumb background color should be gray grayish RGB 79 79 79 and 79 yeah and border radius should be 8 pixels now let's import this css to this main.jsx dot slash main.css let's see yeah scroll bar now it's better so our ui is ready now we have to uh, make it functional also actually uh, let's add another message here and see yeah it's fine yeah it's fine let's create another file that is starter.jsx that is for the starting when there is no message now let's uh, create this let's remove it and add class name flex flex call item center space uh, space y4 height should be 200 pixels for small screens and for medium screens height should be 350 pixels justify send justify no uh, yeah justify center to make it centered and let's add a div here let's add class name inside this div there should be image so background color should be ecf1 height 18 with 18 padding 2 rounded uh, rounded full let's add the image 
class name okay i don't need the class name source should be there and all should be there logo and let's go to the public folder and asset 12 inside h1 let's write how can i help you today and uh, let's add classes text white font bold and text to excel yeah so it is done now if i remove the message messages section and add this component let's see how it looks okay it is not importing so let's import it manually then yeah it is yeah it is there now so it is imported and yeah looks good okay fine So starter is done also. Let's comment it for now. We'll deal with it later. Let's comment it also. And I have added the messages also. So our UI is ready. Now let's make our ChatGPT clone functional. And uh, let's add some logic. For that, let's go to OpenAI website. Let's go to login and let's log in or create an account if you don't have an account. I'm logging in because I have an account already. So let's go to API and from here you have to uh, search for API keys and now you have to create a new API key, a new secret key actually. So let's name it. I am naming it as chat GPT and click on create secret key button. Yeah, a secret key will be generated. So it is generated successfully and uh, copy the secret key and uh, go to your uh, folder and create dot env file and paste it here but before uh, let's name the variable feed openai secret and paste the secret key okay now uh, yeah now it's done and now let's close these tabs and we'll now work with OpenAI API. Let's write of let's create a folder that is utils and openai.js. But before working with OpenAI uh, API or OpenAI package, you have to install it. So let's go to terminal and install the package for openai and then install openai at 3.3.0 just install this version of openai and uh, you can also install axios if you want axios okay install it npm run dev to start the server okay and now inside openai.js let's import configuration we need just two things that is configuration and uh other thing is 
open ai api so now we'll create a new variable that is configuration configuration equals new configuration and inside it the secret key will go so inside this api key should be the secret key just ignore the hints uh, that is provided by uh, my extensions import dot meta dot env dot uh, what was the variable name let's see let's go to dot env yeah copy this variable name and paste it uh, yeah paste it here so our configuration is created now the uh, this configuration will go inside openai api so const openai equals new openai okay yeah it has created a new instance for openai api now uh, we are going to create a new function that is generate message async it will take a prompt arrow function and let's write const response equals await okay the hints are quite correct yeah these are correct but i'm typing it manually await openai dot uh, create completion and inside this model should be text da vinci 003 and after that temperature should be 0 0.9 this is the creativity of the message max token let's say 256 frequency penalty let's make it zero and presence penalty zero yeah that's it i guess now let's return response dot data dot choices let's take the zero index and dot text yeah uh yeah everything is done oh sorry i forgot to add the prompt the prompt should be the prompt that we are taking to this function dollar sign and prompt yeah perfect so this is all we need to get the uh, generated messages now let's go to main and let's try to make it work const prompt and set prompt equals use state it should be empty string at first okay now let's write value here value should be prompt 
and on change so that the value change will reflect inside the prompt set prompt it will be event dot target dot value event dot target dot value okay and for the button let's write on click handle click now let's create this function on standard click arrow function it should be and uh, arrow yeah const response equals await and the function name generate message let's import it from open ai uh, file and inside this prompt should go and let's make it async function yeah now let's console log the response and see if anything comes or not console log the response and yeah we are good to go i guess now let's go to the browser and check if the data comes or not let's refresh yeah let's go to inspect and console let's write something that like hey how are you let's see okay i'm doing well thank you how are you okay some warning is there you can remove that warning because uh, we are directly fetching it from react app open ai uh, thinks it as of low security so we can add a line here for that warning delete configuration dot base options dot headers and inside it it should be user agent yeah now i think this warning should not come let's see Hey, what is your name my name is Paul okay strange but uh, data is coming that's important so our functionality is working now we have to set the messages array let's add the try catch block first you can also add error handling like if uh, no data is given then what you have to do you can show some error messages i'm not doing it here you should do that create the messages array using use state so const messages messages and set messages use state and empty array should be there okay and after the response the set messages should be uh, let's write first bracket and then array symbol and uh, let's write like this And after that, inside this text should be uh, text should be okay. Let's actually uh, create a variable here text. It should be prompt. And after that, set prompt should be empty. So that after submitting the button, the prompt should be automatically empty. Now text should be uh, text that user has given and is user should be true 
because it is from the user and after that let's create another uh, object inside text should be response that is given by the chat GPT and use is user should be false because it is not the user it is the chat GPT so our array should be updated like this after the response and and yeah i think it should work now let's uh, change the ui a little bit because it will depend on the response and the array so uh, Let's add a condition here. If messages dot length is zero, zero, then we'll show the starter uh, component. Starter component. Yeah. Now let's uncomment it. Starter component. Else, we are going to show this uh, messages div. okay let's add this bracket here uh, here yeah perfect and now uh, let's remove this unnecessary messages we will now map through the messages array so we don't need that uh, let's write messages dot map and m and index it should be and inside this let's copy and paste the div message div let's add the key so the warning will gone will be gone it should be index yeah and now uh, based on the message we will change the source like if if uh, m dot is user is true then we will show the users image otherwise we will show the chat gpt uh, logo because it is from chat gpt Dash, uh, it should be. I think it was uh, asset twelve. I think. Sorry, it was logo dot png. And based on the m dot is user, will show if it is user then u and if it it's not user then we'll show chat gpt here and now let's remove this and let's add m dot text yeah perfect nice i think everything is done now uh, so let's try this I chat GPT how are you let's see yeah it's working perfect perfect now let's write again what is chat GPT let's see what it gives okay nice now let's write another message r u n a i okay 
no i am not in ai okay interesting we have to auto add the auto scroll functionality for that we are going to use use refuk and use effect hook also so below this here add a self closing div div and add the ref here ref should be ref now let's define the use ref hook here const ref equals use ref okay yeah now let's define use effect to here use effect uh, it will be triggered when the messages array is changed or the data inside the messages array is changed so let's write here messages and let's add a function here inside use effect set timeout and ref dot current dot dot scroll into view and let's uh, define the behavior also behavior behavior it should be smooth scrolling so smooth and timing should be one second so 1000 millisecond yeah i think uh, it should work now let's see i chat gpt let's see yeah how are you okay one more message what do you do yeah perfect it's working fine so almost everything is done now let's uh, work with the suggestions so for that for that whenever we click on a suggestion it should uh, come to the input field and then we can uh, search about that so let's write a conditions condition here like if messages dot length is zero then only we'll show the suggestions yeah then only we'll show the suggestions now let's cut it paste it here and let's write on click here so it should be set prompt should be s dot title plus space plus s dot description mm. yeah let's see okay Mm. yeah perfect now let's change this height 60 vh and 70 vh let's copy this paste it here okay we can okay for small screens is not it's not uh, looking good so let's change this a little bit for small screens make it 70 and for medium screens make it 75 
yeah now it's looking better now let's add a loading state for that let's create const loading loading and set loading U state it should be false at first so set loading should be true here and after the error set loading should be true also and after generating the responses loading loading should be false and if there is loading then we'll show a message like generating responses or loading responses okay let's add some styling text white text small and animation animate let's write pulse and text center yeah let's see how it looks okay tell me fun facts about roman empire nice it's looking good yeah it's looking better now tell me something about chat gpt okay yeah nice so our app is done we can add a small thing that is i'll show you like uh, yeah we are generating a response now if we click on new chat the page should be a new page so for that let's write a simple line here inside the sidebar let's write on click here on click and on click on this div let's write window dot location dot reload it should be reloaded so let's see let's click on yeah perfect so everything is working fine we are done with our app now yeah now let's try to deploy this app before that we have to add a git repository and push the codes there after that we'll deploy our app so let's go to github and push our code So we are into GitHub. Let's write repository name as ChatGPT clone. I'm not writing anything to the description, just generating the repository. Okay, now follow the commands. Let's I, am, I have initialized git and now let's git add dot everything should be added and now let's add the commit okay now let's set the remote origin or you can set the branch first branch master now let's set the remote origin okay yeah now let's push the code to master branch okay yeah the code is pushed i guess let's see 
okay fine now to deploy the application we'll deploy it to netlify it's an amazing platform to deploy react applications let's go to sites or uh, okay let's add a new site and let's import it from github search for the directory or repository whatever you want to say it let's write slash here we want to deploy everything and let's add environment variables okay paste it here and let's paste the values yeah let's add it and deploy okay it is in pro progress you can see the deploy logs also and if uh, something goes wrong you can see what's the problem but i hope it should be deployed successfully yeah it is deployed and you can see the application this is the deployed application yeah perfect now let's see if it works or not it should work okay yeah it's working fine so our application is done this is the final application and i hope you have enjoyed this video please subscribe if you are new to this channel and i'll see you in the next video